Well, it was bound to happen. I guess anybody that does a YouTube channel about living in an RV is eventually going to have to cover the subject of problems with their black water tank. So, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> so, first off, I have an uh, alarm set for twice a week to clean out or empty my black water tank. It usually results in the tank being about three quarter full. My gray stays empty because the gray in this case is the sink and the shower and I leave that valve wide open so we don't ever have a uh, issue with with that. I use the galley which is the kitchen as the gray water to flush out the black water lines if you know anything about you know that part then that's that's how I accomplish the flushing of the lines so I went out to drain my black water tanks uh, the other day they were three-quarter full they were showing three-quarter full like they are right now I'm sorry two-thirds anyway the three line was up there um, and when I got done draining it, for whatever reason, I came in here and checked it, checked it, and it still had three lights. So let me show you how I fixed it. Now I've got my uh, my drain hose with a slope in it. That's a trick I learned off of someone else's channel. This provides you with a P-trap, and it, it leaves water trapped in the hose right here that prevents the sewer gases from coming up through the hose and into your RV so if you were to uh, for whatever reason well like in my case I leave uh, I leave my gray tank valve open just so the shower can flush on through if I didn't have this p-trap in here I would get exhaust I would get sewer gases I'm assuming I would get sewer gases coming up through the gray tank and in through the uh, drain in the sink and the drain in the shower. So that keeps that from happening. All right, so I drain my, I drain my black water. I let that completely drain. I'll close the valve and then I'll flush it. We'll get to that here in a second. So normally, after my blay, after my black water has finished draining, what I would normally do is just come in and let the water go into that black tank flush right there. Just open up the valve on this T, and I would let that run just a few minutes, assuming that that was going to clean my tank out. I really never checked. Well, yesterday, or I'm sorry, two or three days ago when I did this. I was looking at the material that was coming out of there and it just would not run clear or even close to being clear so I closed the valve and just through trial and error figured out that it takes four minutes of that hose running to basically fill up that black tank so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to fill it for four minutes, and I'll show you how I figured that out, that four minutes does that. Okay, so we've had water running into the black, uh, black tank flush for, for four minutes. Now I'm going to cut the water off to the black tank flush, and the city water connection so there's no water going into the RV at all now let's go inside all right now there's no water coming into the RV we do that so we can look through here without water rushing down the pipe I want to be able to look in here and see if there's water standing right there that's not the tank that's the that's the elbow that goes to the tank over here so we see standing water, we know we're full. Now we're gonna go release it. Now we 
just released all of the black water. We want to check and see if we're showing empty, and we are. What was happening the other day is after the release, we still showed two thirds, which uh, was probably the result of a piece of toilet paper getting hung up on a sensor. So we had to fill, fill the tank up with water, get that stuff loosened up, and then flush it out. I had to do it, I think, two or three times to get it off, but it finally, it finally straightened up. So now we're good. Um, the black is empty. The gray, of course, is empty because that valve stays open. Now we gotta go open the the galley, which is the kitchen, and it's gonna flush out our drain lines with gray water. Then we'll close everything up and add our chemicals and be done. And that's a no-brainer. So um, that's really it. There's no tricks to this other than make sure you use RV toilet paper. It it, uh, it it disintegrates in water it's it's way different than the normal stuff I don't know how to explain it but it, uh, you, you you really can't uh, notice any difference in using it um, it's it's not I would say it's not any more expensive than the other stuff it's just a little bit harder to find but you can order it in bulk and save yourself some heartaches because if you can't if you can't get this clean on your own they say you have to drop the tanks, and I don't know that you want to do that. <laughs> it might be a little nasty. But anyway, got any questions, holler. Thanks for watching.